Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I shall get straight to the subject. This is breaking news as far as I know. The Balmoral Summit this summer. Um, it has just come in. I will put a link in the description. This is to do with the removal of Harry and Meghan's titles. And this is the first time I've seen a hardcore bona fide type source. Now, it's in the uh, Irish Mirror, which, uh, OK, we all criticise MSM, Legacy Media, all the time. And we all have to be very, very careful about what we believe and what we don't believe uh, that we read on the Internet. But this isn't just a tweet from a random person. Um, this isn't a random YouTube video from someone I've never heard of. This is an actual MSN publication. And the source is quoted as saying the following. And then we'll talk about it. The royal family are meeting at Balmoral to discuss a number of different things, but one of them will be the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a source told the publication. The publication apparently that the source spoke to, I think, was the Daily Express. So it's been around a long time, the Daily Express. Uh, what people don't realise is that the Balmoral gathering isn't just a summer holiday. The family also participates in pre-arranged meetings where they discuss the family's current position and how they can best prepare for the future. The couple have already been asked to no longer use their HRH style, which appears to have triggered their revolt against the royal family. The source adds that although it will be easy for, the King, for King Charles to strip the Sussexes of their gifted titles, Prince, for example, it will be a different story when it comes to their peerage. The source added there could be a challenge made of if any peerages are removed. So this is something that needs to be navigated extremely carefully. The title of Prince and HRH are both gifts from the sovereign and can be stripped quite easily. But Harry's dukedom, earldom and barony will have to be removed by an act of parliament, which could throw up a lot of unnecessary problems and unwanted media attention. The source said that if Harry were to lose his prince title, then that would mean Archie and Lilipet could also lose theirs but the children would be able to use the Dumbarton titles when their parents will be known simply as the Sussexes. It's a very difficult one to navigate because the king is very conscious about his grandchildren, the source said. There have been ongoing discussions surrounding this matter, but no decisions have been made yet. This is something that will hopefully be concluded during talks between the King and other senior royals this summer. Buckingham Palace has been approached for comment. So there you have it. Personally, I believe that's a genuine source, probably someone who's up in Balmoral. And I think this is a massive, massive warning shot across the bows to Harry and Meghan. It's the nuclear option, isn't it, really? Um, it's interesting wording. If we go back to the, um, <laughs> the previous paragraph, the source said that if Harry were to lose his prince title, that would mean Archie and Lilibet could lo also lose theirs, but the children would be able to use the Dim Dumbarton one. Um, maybe it was a paragraph before that. There was one, you know, when they'd use the term when it happens as opposed to if it happens in one of the paragraphs. Well, you guys can go read this article. I guess a lot of you are going to scoot right over there and have a good look at this. It's just come out here in Spain in the last 46 minutes. Um, so that's very interesting that it would appear that the prince title. Now, I distinctly remember Lady C talking about another prince who had his title removed, I believe, around First World War because his allegiances were not aligned. Um, and I'm sure I've heard her explain on more than one occasion that the dukedom would have to be removed by an act of parliament. 
but the, the it seems it appears from that article if I've read that correctly but I'm sure you guys will correct me but there are big things moving afoot I translate that as the royal family being highly pissed off this is we are pissed we are sick of you we are fed up with you um, now nothing particular has happened that extraordinarily irritating that the Sussexes have done in recent times that, that I can think of. I mean, they've done a lot. Oprah, that was a biggie, wasn't it? Um, the Netflix thing, that was a biggie. Spare, that was a biggie. But I mean, we're looking away back there. What I'm thinking, and this is only my pure speculation, and as I always say, the big caveat, check everything that I say. Check everything that everybody says. Never take anybody's word as gospel. Certainly not mine. But what I'm thinking is, William did spend some time with MI6 not that long ago. He could have done that in secret. I, I suspect he does meet with them in secret a lot. But he let it be known in the court circular. Now, what I suspect, and it is only my suspicion, is that there has been evidence found that trolling of the royal family and possibly subjects of the United Kingdom, MI6 has brought to light some something. That's what I think. Some sort of evidence. That is my honest belief at this point. And this is, cover your ears if you don't like swearing, which I do a lot on this channel. Um, this is going to be a big fuck you Harry moment. Uh, so I think all I can hear all of you right now going, which granted, which granted. <laughs> I can imagine. But it's not a question of being spiteful on any of your parts or mine. It's got to be a clear, concise message. They are also going to Colombia, allegedly tomorrow. I did see a lot of you commented the, the, the other day <coughs> and you said that um, that had been cancelled. I'm not sure where you heard that or who said that. It, it may have been an excellent authority, but as far as I can see here in Spain, it's still going ahead. So, like I say, we've all got to be careful what we listen to. Um, you know, I might get something fundamentally and drastically wrong. So always double check, definitely check this link. Because um, it could be, it's not April Fool's Day, is it? No, I don't think so. Um, is it someone pulling somebody's leg? I don't know. That's a, that's a fairly well established publication and they're quoting the Daily Express. So um, these newspapers, um, would they say something so defamatory, something that was completely untrue and risk legal action from the royal family? But yes, Belmoral is going to be like that. I remember distinctly somebody saying that when they go to Sandringham for Christmas, um, that all each different member of the royal family always wanted to have time with our late majesty to discuss this, to discuss that, to discuss the other, and that it is quite structured. Um, and I, I would imagine, I mean, Balmoral, I'd never really thought of it that way before, but there is clearly a, well, it, it states clearly there, there is going to be a Balmoral summit on this subject of titles. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, I did a great big long video today. I went into Gibraltar and I watched it. Uh, we've just edited it together and I watched it back and it goes on quite a long time. So if any of you are interested in Gibraltar and there's a few bits and pieces about Meghan and Harry, a Spanish royal family, and I think Norwegian royal family. Um, and that's up on Graham's channel um, because it's a, I, I do stuff on Graham's channel as well. Just chatting, a little bit longer chats. I mean, let me know in the comments if you would like to see videos that are more along those lines. But I'll put a link in the description to Graham's channel and that particular video so you can see that. And just as we were editing it together and I, I said, yeah, go for it. Put it up on your channel. I thought I'll before what I normally do before I start filming, I turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone because otherwise I'm getting WhatsApps all over the way, which reminds me. <laughs> How are you doing, Trevor, in this heat? I spoke to him on the phone this morning and it's really hot in Morocco. <laughs> and he's going for a camel ride tomorrow, apparently. So that would be awesome. Um, so I turned the Wi-Fi off uh, and I always think, well, I better just check if there's anything new about Harry and Meghan before I record. Because you never know with those two. You know, there could be a new car park crap walk, couldn't there? There could be a, a, their book tickets to go to the cinema. Woohoo! Let's all check that. It's earth shattering, isn't it? Um, 
and I literally just checked this before making this video. I was going to tell you all about, you know, what a nightmare I've had this morning going into Gibraltar on a, on a mission for our daughter. Well, if you're interested in that, then you can go and watch that. But I mean, I think this, this is explosive. This really is. It's not an official uh, royal family press release. It's not come from Buckingham Palace head office. This has clearly come from a source. I mean, wouldn't you just love to know who that source is? And it looks like Harry and Meghan are in for a very, very bumpy ride. I mean, will Columbia be interested in them? Is Wally's theory right that she wants to be a US ambassador to, for Colombia, so she gets IPP and a limousine with a little pennant flag and a chauffeur. Mm. Will, is that true? I mean, that's that's a theory and it's a bloody good one that Wally's had. But I mean, if this is, if that theory is correct, who's going to want to touch either of them? I mean, this is sending uh, a reverberating message. This is an earthquake under the Sussexes. Um, I mean, if I were in the Sussex issue, I would certainly not like to read that. They've just lost another member of staff after only three months. Has that member of staff contacted the palace and gone, hey, by the way, you know, sour grapes. I thought I'd let you know this is the plan. Has something like that happened? Because <clears throat> in all my born ones, I've never heard the royal family refer to having a summit at Balmoral or a summit anywhere other than the Sandringham summit which of course was forced on them by Meghan and Harry. Um, I mean perhaps they're thinking we take the prince title off then there'll be no more prince there'll be no more princess Meghan well she hasn't started that yet but you see if parliament were to take the dukedom the earldom and the barony off them she could say, I don't care, I'm Princess Meghan. But if the king removes the prince, well, there ain't going to be no Princess Meghan. There's not going to be a countess. There's not going to be a duchess. There's not going to be, it's going to be old Megsy in a big baggy beige trousers. Isn't it? I mean, it's quite a turnabout. I was actually going to take you rowing. I've got a little boat, but it's really windy out there. And that was one of the problems I had on the video I did earlier. Uh, it is a lovely wind, but, you know, you get a bit of wind on the film. I mean, I'm just processing this information right now. And I bet you guys are going to say a million things. And I'm going to think, oh, what a good idea. Oh, yes. I, I wish I'd thought of that. Perhaps I should go live. Maybe we could do a live. I've been threatening to do several lives. We still haven't done the Lady C live. Um... I mean, the, you know, the ball, Lady C's summer ball. We haven't done that because we've got the lovely Michelle, who, of course, went with our daughter and her boyfriend uh, to tell us all the deets. And we've got the lovely Glinda the Good. I shall put a link to her channel as well, who is, was really kind and sent uh, Faith a dress. And also um, Sandra Parrott sent a dress. But in the end, she wore her own thing. Um, I've been planning on doing all kinds of lives. I mean, you could blow me down with a feather at this this is very well it's new guard isn't it it's new guard it's not our late majesty who is the monarch anymore this is a new thing new approach and um perhaps we're going to see some some fire rockets and and explosions oh i wonder and uh, will harry and Meghan be awake yes they'll be awake at this time of day so they will probably get to hear about this quite soon and maybe this is just a warning shot. Maybe it's not actually going to happen. Maybe they're not, the royal family are not actually going to sit down and decide to remove all the titles. But this is just a warning. I'm thinking, no, I mean, the, to me, this looks like they're going to remove not just the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And let's not face it, she's not really the Duchess of Sussex. She's only Duchess because she's married to him. It's his title. It's his dukedom that they're talking about, his earldom, his, whatever, countdom, I don't know what the proper expression is for that. Well, I think this is fascinating. And as I say, he's breaking. Well, it might not be, maybe all you guys had already heard about this. This is a first for me. So bear with me if this is old news. And it's, it's not, I don't think it's a fake news thing. I really don't. So tell me your thoughts, people with your use of free speech below in the comments. And we shall talk soon, I'm sure. Thank you very much for listening.